continued where they left off on day two, passing the 300 stand and had the all-time Indian partnership record in sight. Score had moved to one for 340 when Doldy thought he had Majara on 174. Ah! That's close. Uh, you can see that it's just held its line and it's straightened. Down the other end, it was time for VJ to celebrate once more. One for D, four more limited. Glenn Maxwell came on, but it was the Indians who were the big show, putting on a magnificent stand. Pajara continued on, chalking up 1,000 test runs in just 18 innings, three quicker than the great Sonny Garvaskar. Finally a breakthrough, VJ falling to Maxwell on 167. That's in the air taken, extra bowls for Maxwell. The partnership broken at 370. They were six runs short of Bingley, the highest ever partnership for India against Australia in tests. Sachin Tendulkar came with the crease and with runs flowing, this might have been the perfect opportunity to score his first test century in over two years, while Pajara made it a second double century early in his career. Gets there and Stein. And this has been a magnificent innings. But his innings finally came to an end, falling to Pattinson on 204. Goes for the ball in the air and taken. There was drama straight after lunch when Pattinson and Wade were adamant they'd snared Tendulkar. The umpire appeared to think it was an out, but under the rules of this series, the umpires can go to the third umpire to check if a catch carried. But then the third umpire can check everything, and there definitely was a nick. Out, which means that the third umpire has told him there was a nick. A cheer has been followed by deafening silence. Tendulkar gone for seven. Tony came to the crease and wasted no time getting settled. That's four. Raced to 44 before becoming Maxwell's second victim. He's taken it on second attempt. Maxwell, who bowled much better around the wicket, then did it all himself to remove Jardanger. Oh, it's a deal of brilliant. The off, he should have been on a hat trick, but Cowan couldn't hold the close in chance from Ashwin. Next over, Doherty then got a deserved wicket. Now that's another one. Doherty then had his second when he removed Harbajan before Maxwell snared his fourth with the help of Cowan. What a catch! Maxwell could have had a fifth, but the inside edge beat everyone. Doherty wrapped up the innings, the home side losing their last five wickets for just 19 runs, all out for 503, an overall lead of 266. David Warner started aggressively taking 12 off Ashwin's first over. One run later, he was given a life by Coley. Cowden survived 24 deliveries without scoring.